So the first thing which I always gather whenever I recite this verse is that the first thing after the creation of Hazrat Adam alayhi salam, which was done, was what? Allama. Allama means what? Means to teach, to educate, means to impart knowledge. And how is that activity and action done? Means to teach with perfection, precision, and to the minutest of detail. And what was his Adam salam taught? He was taught the knowledge of the physical worlds and the names of things. So here I would stop and I would want to mention that what do we learn from this part of the verse? Allama al Adma Asma Akullaha being the first thing which happened to Hazrat Adam Islam after his creation. The lesson and the message is that the first thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did after the creation of Adam was what? He was not given a, he was not given an outfit. And Allah did not ask him to look after and maintain his dress. He was not served with multiple dishes and asked to eat as much as he could. And he was not shifted into a glamorous palace and asked to stay there, enjoy it and maintain it. But Hazrat Adam Islam, after his creation was given knowledge, ilm. So what we learn is that seeking of knowledge and acquiring of knowledge has to be and should be the primary priority in our lives. The first human, the first prophet was first of all given knowledge, Allama. And you know what? The last prophet, the seal of prophets, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi the first revolution was what? Ikra, read. And the second revelation was what? Noon wal qalam. Allah has, Allah has sworn by the name of the pen. So all this highlights what? This highlights that it conveys the importance of learning, the importance of seeking knowledge in our religion and Islam. And then what happened that after teaching Hazrat Adam alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed the angels and asked them to tell the names of all the things which had been taught to Hazrat Adam alayhi salam. And then what happened? Verse number 32. What did they say? They said, exalted are you. We have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Indeed, it is you who is the knowing and who is the wise. So the angels glorified Allah and they accepted that uh, they could not uh, you know, tell the names of whatever had been taught to Hazrat Adam Islam, as they had not been blessed by the knowledge. And uh, moreover, the angels also acknowledged that anyone can only have the knowledge which Allah blesses. So remember, when any one of us is striving or working hard to seek knowledge, what do we need to do? We need to make dua and we need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us with the knowledge because it is only Allah who blesses anyone with knowledge. As the angel said, la ilma lana illa ma allamtana, that we will have, we do not have any knowledge except what you have taught us. So anybody who is struggling and working hard to seek or gather knowledge needs to make dua and ask for the blessings of knowledge.